Hello, Playtime! Uh, my name is Katie. Usually you see me at Monday nights at Days In. I am missing you guys so, so, so much. Um, so I thought I would uh, spend a second and read you a story because that's one of my favorite things to do with you at Playtime. So before we get started, one of the other things that I really miss is getting such good high fives from you guys when we come in uh, on playtime. So I know we can't do it in person, which is really sad, but I was hoping you could give me a really big high five now. So you can give it to the phone. Ready? One, two, three. High five. Oh, that made me feel so much better. All right. Well, let's read a story. Does anybody know this book? It's called Dragons Love Tacos. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite book. So I'm glad that I can share it today. And if you see my buddy here, this is my dragon eating his taco. Uh, he's gonna listen to the story with us. So we'll set him up here. Maybe he'll help if he doesn't eat too many tacos. All right, Dragons Love Tacos. This book is by Adam Rubin and the pretty pictures are by Daniel Salmari. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They really love big, gigantic tacos and teeny tiny little baby tacos as well. Do you guys love tacos too? Little baby tacos? I mostly like the big tacos. See the pretty picture? Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. You see that sizzling pan? Or maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Maybe it's a secret. You think it's a secret? Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Yeah, dragon, why do you love tacos so much? He's being very quiet. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. See that salsa there? No spicy salsa. I've got some salsa here. It's medium. I hope that's not too spicy for my dragon. We'll find out. So why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot, well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Ah, look at the smoke coming out of their ears. Can you see it? Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Ah, spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. What do we got here? We got some tomatoes. I like that in my tacos. Oh, uh, we got lettuce, cheese. Those seem like good toppings. What kind of toppings do you guys like in your tacos? You wanna tell me? Keep it a secret? Okay, you're gonna tell me later when I see you. All right, these are all good toppings. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Should we ask him? Hey, dragon, how do you feel? Hmm. You know what dragons love? They love parties. They love costume parties. 
Look at those costumes. That reminds me of you guys on Halloween when you wore your costumes. And they like pool parties. Look at those dragons in the pool. They like big gigantic parties with accordions. Ah, those dragons are playing accordions. And they like teeny little parties with charades. Do you guys know how to play charades? I'll teach you the next time. So why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. I like that. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laugh. Ha ha ha. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos, obviously. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. I'm talking about pant loads of tacos. Oh my gosh. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Do you see that? That is a boat full of tacos. I wish I had that many tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the taco party? Oh, they look really excited. Look at them all coming over for the party. Just remember, what are we remembering? Say it with me. Dragons hate spicy. What do they hate? Spicy salsa. So before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all that spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. See, that's what he's doing here. He's digging a hole and he's burying the salsa in the hole and the dog is watching him. I think that's a good idea. These dragons love your party. They love the music, they love the decorations, and they especially love the tacos. Congratulations! See how happy they are all at your party eating the tacos? They look like they're having fun. It looks like a playtime party to me. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... <gasps> Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. Uh-oh, can you read it with me? What's it say? Tomato, totally mild salsa. And then at the bottom, now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Ah! I'm nervous. Dragons. Listen to me, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, they're jalapeno peppers. Those are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not gonna love these tacos. Do not let the dragons eat those tacos. Uh, oh, I think they're eating the tacos. Are they eating the tacos? It looks like they're eating the tacos. Ah! They ate the tacos! Oh no, what's happening? I think the dragons are breathing fire because they ate the hot spicy salsa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. What do you think is happening here? I think the dragons may have burned down the house. Uh-oh. I think that's what happened. But you know what? They seem like nice dragons. So why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe that's it. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Uh, or maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. See the taco table? <laughs> Because after all, dragons love tacos.
that's the book. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Say hello to my dragon friend. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon. I miss you so, so much. And when I see you the next time, I'm going to give you a big high five in person. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.